What's going on people? It's GBP Baby. Welcome to another video. It's currently 11.33 p.m. on Wednesday the 12th of July. And we are looking at Dixie, of course. Well, we start with Dixie, then we'll work our way through um, GBP and Euro. So, you can see that today we've had quite a... Well, I'm going to start on the weekly very quickly just to show you what I've marked out. I've marked out this weekly volume imbalance here, which we've just traded through today. I've marked out the consequent encroachment of this long wick. That's this long black line. And then underneath, I'll show you, that's from another, that's from a lower time frame. And then I've also marked out this weekly fair value gap resting here. So we'll go down to the daily. So here's the daily chart. Um, we had CPI today, which explains this very big and aggressive run down into this, into these lows resting here. It was a long time coming, to be honest. So it was nice to see that these this south side liquidity finally got taken um, with aggression too. So we had all these relative equal lows here, 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 and all this was resting. All this south side was resting below here for a very long time. Um, yeah, obviously it's been here since April. So it's nice to see that we finally traded down into this area and now that we've traded down below here we can expect some kind of large retracement back into the range that we've created you can see that we've had one two three four five days now of consecutive down candles so when you see price action like this you can then anticipate some kind of consolidation and a pull back into the range so i can imagine next week we're, we're either going to see some movement higher or some heavy consolidation start to come into play um, so yeah, we've traded, we've traded into south side liquidity, which means that there's going to be lots of buying going on by the by the smart money, so to speak. So remember, there's lots of sell stops down here. All of those have been taken. So now there's going to be buying so that we can start to push into this range. So I'm going to, this blue box here is delineating a one hour fair value gap. Um, don't know why that's not showing up probably, but this is a one hour. Yeah, there we go. One hour fair value gap. Why did I mark that out? Because this consequent encroachment, I do anticipate price to trade to it exactly, which means tomorrow um, I'm expecting us to come lower one more time, trade down to this one hour fair value gap, just at the consequent encroachment. Of, remember, this is a weekly consequent encroachment, so this is a significant price point. So I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if we traded down into this and then start to trade higher and back into this volume imbalance. Now this volume imbalance is going to act as an inverted no, it's not even going to act as inverted. This is now going to be filled with south side. So this is now technically a, a, um, a bearish fair value gap. So if price finds support at this weekly consequent encroachment, like let's say we, we trade down and we start to see a reaction higher, then I'll expect us to start to come back into this imbalance and fill it with price. Um, let's say we trade below this one hour fair value gap, then I'd have my eyes on this weekly fair value gap resting below here. But I, with the amount of movement we've had all, um, this week already, I highly doubt that's going to happen. <coughs> so overall, I'm expecting us to come down, take out the lows that will create that are left here. There's going to be a lot of retail that think that um, this is that this is the low of the week. But I wouldn't, like I said, the way price moves and how cheeky it is, I wouldn't be surprised if we just came down, dipped, and then traded higher. So let's go to GBP. And you'll see I've got markings out already. So I'm going to start with the weekly on GBP as well. It's important to see where we are. So I've marked out this bearish order block and I've marked out the 50% level, which is what you call mean threshold. And, um, and then I've also got this massive weekly fair value gap as well, which we've just traded through right through and above. So the same with dollar, but uh, reversed I expect us to trade higher first maybe touch the mean threshold and then start to pull back within to the range of this fair value gap now if we are to continue to be bullish this 50% level is going to be the lowest of what I expect price to go but as I said previously because of how big uh, this week's range has been the amount of pullback I'm expecting to see um, it really depends like I'm not sure I need to look at the economic calendar to be honest but I'm not expecting too much price action I'd expect a lot of consolidation on Thursday and Friday, maybe to have a little bit of a deeper retracement. 
So yeah, we'll drop down to a daily really quickly. So we can see got a nice fair value gap created here. You can see how we traded down on right on Wednesday, sorry, today, touched 50% level and left it. Price action like this is very important um, because you can anticipate a uh, price action like this to happen and you could have used this as a buy signal because we traded above the 50% level of the fair value gap, came down, found support, and then what happened? We traded higher, closing it in and into the bearish order block. Here's the four hour. You can see we created a little swing here and we've pushed higher. And now you can see how we're just consolidating a little bit. And the same things I just said earlier, I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow we trade higher and then pulled back. What is this? GDP, so we have got high impact news oh ppi as well yeah so there is a lot of um news releases tomorrow so i would i would expect quite a lot of volatility probably i doubt it's going to be as much as today but um like i said i do want to see this range start to get pulled back into after we tra and hopefully this level get respected which is 1.3 or 214 we'll go to euro now actually let's go to the one hour see if we can see anything of interest this uh, I don't like price action like this to be honest or this tip of back and forth but um, yeah okay we'll go to euro and I've got three marking outs on euro I'll start with weekly again you'll notice I came to the weekly because when we have an expansion this big in a day it's important to look at the weekly candle and see okay have we expanded to a PDRA what PDRA and why so you can see that we've just traded into this massive weekly volume imbalance i've had my eyes on this for a while now if you've been watching me you'll know that i've been calling this level for a while so we've just traded into that i've graded it with the quarter level 50 percent level and the top level let me just make that more clear but it's just exactly the same thing as i've been doing with every other um, gap so again same thing i want to see us trade maybe a little bit higher and then start to pull back into a range. Now, where exactly I expect to pull back to? Um, we'll drop down to the daily. We have this, obviously we have this massive candle. Um, Euro has had to catch up with the amount of movement that Pound's been doing. And you can see we've just traded above this buy side liquidity here. So we can anticipate um, a pullback into the range. The same way we can expect we can expect a pullback into this range on dollar so i've also marked out this daily bearish order block this is now an inverted order block because we traded it was first bearish because it, after this we traded lower and now we traded through it completely meaning that when we come back to this which might not be this week but when we come back to this area here i'd like to see it find support and for us to continue higher or consolidate so that's pretty much everything guys um it was a very interesting day i didn't actually place any trades today because i don't trade tpi um not just yet anyway that's a skill set i'm gonna plan on learning but it's interesting to look how price trades into this area look how we found support within that imbalance um and yeah like i said tomorrow it'd be nice to see us trade higher reject these levels i want to see these levels get rejected remember for me to want to start hunting for lower prices and and um, bearish PTRA such as this and this. But I hope you guys learned something. This has been GBP Baby, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I'm definitely trying to get the subscribers up. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.